Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Keckley, who is on the shit list. Oh. For what? Well, it's not me. I got to uh-huh. tell you, I'm, dude, um, I, I'm happy that it's not me that's in the doghouse because as long as it's anybody else, it's good. Um, but someone who came did home. I irritate? Some someone came home yesterday, and I'm not going to name names or anything. But she says Dave is dead wrong about Oreos. Dead wrong. And Black. so uh, that look, don't Go start, ahead. don't start the excuses right now. I'm not making um, excuses. I I am I'm 100 percent correct. And no, Cindy you're not. 100 percent wrong. She has spoken. 100 wrong. She can speak all she wants, and God she, bless her. She told me but, to tell you to take your opinion of Oreos and cram them right where the sun don't shine. My my opinion, look, it, look, it's. I'm a fan of cookies. I well, am a who fan is of it? cookies. I think I think people get too cute with certain cookies. They try to they they try to do better than really good, and they end up effing it up. I think it started with the double stuff. We did. You did need to add another layer of cream to the Oreo. They were fine the way there. Oh, let's no. Less is sometimes more. That is, that is a well. That is true. I, that is just a truth. Here's here's the problem. You you it's can argue till you're blue in the face. Um, I've spoken and the boss has spoken. So yeah, and you you're, you've both you, spoken and you're both wrong. Well, no, we're okay? not wrong. That, I, and, I can't help you until you. You and turn into the it would be nice if, if it were just me, but now we've got majority rules here, and right, this okay. is kind of isolating you in your corner. And I'm sorry, I mean, it has to be that way. But you know, when she speaks, boy, you you step and fetch. Okay, here's so, the thing: is I don't do that. Well, I don't step. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a step and fetch bitch. That's not what I am. That's not how I was raised. Uh-huh. That is not uh, how this is going to go. Okay? okay. I respect your wife yep. to the nth degree. Well. Lovely lady, you married up. That's a positive. She's 100% wrong about double stuff Oreos. Well, she I'm just is. Mega stuff. And you are as well. Mega stuff. Okay, which is even more insane. No, no, it's You not. don't need quintuple layers of cream to overcome the chocolatey goodness of an Oreo. Okay? Again, are, are Oreos way below uh, your standard Nestle Toll House chocolate chip morsels? Obviously, because that's the creme de la creme of cookies. Oreos are fine. Oreos are good. Oreos needed to stay the way they were. But the they blue didn't. package Oreos they, decide, oh, we, we need to go to the pink package and go double stuff. No. And they then got you go sold off stuff. to the Mexico you company. They started skinking back it. on what they put in the Oreos. So they had to go to double stuff. And then they started they cutting back on to. what they put in double stuff. So they went to mega stuff. Hey, I, dude. It just wasn't necessary. Okay. A regular well, Oreo. There's nothing wrong with a regular solid B Oreo cookie. That's what an Oreo cookie is. In the in the in the in the, in the hierarchy of cookies, Oreo's a solid B. You're not. It's not never Oreo. You can the double the triple stuff. You're never gonna. It's never gonna be an A cookie. It never will be. Oh, that's not what it's for. It's a solid. Oh. B. In fact, I will go as far as say you. Once you start going the double stuff and the mega stuff, you're in, you're now you're down into B minus C plus territory. Well, here's you what's gonna that. happen. You you, uh, you tried to be better and you ended up being being less. Here's what's gonna and happen. That's not and good. I'd like to tell you that I have any control over the situation, but I don't. Um. Next time you see Cindy, she's probably going to jerk a knot in your tail. I'm like, and it's going to be embarrassing. It's, it, it, like, it's okay. You'll get over it. Um, it'll kind of like being, you know, think of it as being spanked down the aisle on your way out of the church to, look, to get the real beaten in the vestibule. You know, look, I'm not, look, I'm not, I don't, I'm not one who looks for confrontation, but I'm not backing away from confrontation. I'm just saying it's coming. You know, it's it's fine if you want to. If you guys want to have your wrong opinions about Oreo cookies, and you want to, you want to continue this for another day. No, I'm not continuing uh, anything. Fine. I'm just. I and again, no. I'm begging you, don't shoot the messenger. And this is you. This is you shrinking back, being all oh, okay. My wife's upset with you. When you know, come on, I sack up a little bit. I put. 
you know, take your skirt off, put your pants I respected on. her what, opinion. That's what I'm saying to Andy. That's she what came I'm in, saying to Andy right she now. She came in last night and she said, Dave is wrong. And I said, honey, you're right. And, you know, of that's, course. that's, hey. Of course. Cause I'm not whole, cowering. You know, I am not going to disagree. Mm-mm. Of course, you're in a great, in fairness to you, you and your wife agree on this. And that's fine. It's fine. If, it's fine for both of you to be collectively wrong on the same subject and that's okay. Okay. It's perfectly fine. Well, so. I beg to differ, but well, it, differ it, all it, you want. You're still wrong. It's you that faces the wrath. I've, I've faced, I faced harsher wraths in my time. You okay? know that. I 100% do, okay. but that's okay. All right. Still love Cindy. She's just wrong about Oreo cookies. It's okay. Okay. All right. We do. We we have our strengths and we have our weaknesses. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready to get into it? I'm ready. All right. Let's do this thing. Child poverty up. Income is down across the U.S. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, child poverty more than doubled in 2022. The current child poverty rate 12.4 percent. The median household income fell to 74,500. That's a 2.3 percent drop from a year ago. But hey, here's another billion for Ukraine. So it's all good. You know, again, and again, not against helping, but when, when, is, is there no end game? Or are we just, we're we just going to keep doing this? I don't hey, know. I, I I hate to keep beating the dead horse, but. I'd, I'd like to go back how many years and say taking care of our people first is what yeah. we ought to be doing. Mm-hmm. I, 100%. I can't think of a time where I've never said that. Yeah. You know. Uh, absolutely. And you're right. But this is where we are. Moving on, Coke is breaking out a new flavor. Coca-Cola Y3000 is supposed to taste like the future. Oh, actually, yeah. tastes mostly, actually tastes mostly like Coke with a bit of something else, probably some cancer-causing carcinogen. But the, <laughs> that's just a guess. That's just a guess. I'm not saying that's what they put in it. It's probably fine for you. Uh, fittingly, though, it was co-created using, wait for it, wait for it. AI. Artificial. Artificial intelligence, oh, very, very Ooh. good. Again, and then did, did the, you see that? Mac, did you ahead. see McDonald's is taking all the self serve Coke machines out too? I see. I heard that yeah. too. But don't panic. It's not until twenty thirty four. Why make that announcement now? That, seriously, I, we're taking out all the self serve Coke machines by twenty thirty four. Who gives? Who cares? That's, uh, that's over ten yeah, years yeah. away. Yeah. yeah most 10 of years. Be, yeah, most of your customers are going to be dead by then. So we're, we're, it's okay. We, we've got that hanging over our head for 10 years. Seriously, we needed that. But the the, the new flavors, like I, Cherry Coke's fine. Cherry Coke, I think, is preferable yep. to regular Coke. Cherry Coke Zero, I love. Fine. You, you want to throw in a cherry flavor, but you, Mountain Dew really went just off the rails with every there's like literally 20 different flavors of mountain dew when you had the perfect flavor of yep. mountain dew which was just mountain dew right mountain dew is so great so terrible for you but so great at the same time well the mellow I, yellow too nothing. i like i like a nice mellow, mellow yellow is fine mellow yeah. yellow is fine it's it's no mountain dew but it's it's it, yeah, it brings something know, to the table there's something about it's, a mellow let's yellow be honest, it's a notch below yeah, well, it's I, I can't go that route. It's like our, it's like RC to Pepsi. RC is fine. Uh, not I, I just, RC I'm not, fine. I'm not comfortable. It's like with Mr. Pip. It's like Mr. Pip to Dr. Pepper. Okay? Yeah, That's, I it's, can't it's just go. Just how that. we are. I just it's think just Mellow just Yellow fun. had, Mellow Yellow had a little bit cooler connotation to it back in the day. Then a nice jingle. Mellow Yellow makes you feel so good, so fast from your mm-hmm. head down to your toes. That was great. I, don't I remember enjoyed that. that. That was fine. I do okay. because I remember commercials from the 1980s right. more than I remember birthdays. But anyway, uh, you're right. Flavored anything. pops, uh, you know, and unless you're yeah, going to get into gone. the fruit flavored pop. Yeah. Now we're talking because I am well, a fruit flavored pop aficionado. We don't need again raspberry. We don't need. Oh, a blue raspberry pop is good if it's no, great. No, it's done right. no, yes, no, no. Again. You can have a cherry version or a strawberry version. You got to pick one or the other. Let's just we're 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 just beating over the head with choices now. Okay. In every in every arena, we got it like this, like like my five hour energy right here. Yeah. Five hour. This is this is grape five hour energy. Oh, it's purple. They used to have they used to have 
just the regular berry flavor, which is fine. Then they threw in the orange, which for some reason I can't find anywhere anymore. It's almost like they did, and, and that was the best flavor. The best flavor of this stuff was the orange. No, one hundred percent. I cannot find it anywhere else. It tasted I feel like, like baby it aspirin. No, it did not. Why don't you look it up on Amazon? I bet you can find it. I probably could, but I'm not interested enough to do it. Okay. Anyway. So there you go. You got another new flavor of Coke that you didn't need in the first place. Okay. Finally, Muskegon is looking for volunteers to clean the beach. Beach cleanups for Pier Marquette scheduled for later this month. This is a part of the international coastal cleanup where volunteers help remove tens of thousands of pounds of litter from across the globe. This year's cleanup is set for September 23rd. So that's something, something good that you can do to help out clean up your community. Yeah, maybe help clean the beach. Maybe if you showed up and did that, Cindy wouldn't take it out on you so bad. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, but um, well, I will encourage others. See, I'm not one. I don't. I, I occasionally volunteer, but mostly I'm really good at encouraging others right. to uh, volunteer. Right. Okay. I'm good. I'm. I'm good at, at. At. You know, I can. I can get the word out that you're looking for volunteers. Don't look for me. But if you're looking for, I will get other people. Uh, to come out and uh, use uh, their free time. I just, I have, I have a limited amount of time. Put it, put it this way. You should phrase it this way. You will inspire people. Inspire. Very good. Yes. I will inspire others to do the work that uh, I do not want to do. That's right. There you go. Sports Tigers playing out the string predictably with the loss six to five to Cincinnati. Cubs lose, Cubs lose, Cubs lose. They go down to Colorado six to five, four games behind Milwaukee in first place and a game and a half out of the wild card spot behind the Philadelphia Phillies. So again, if you're a, you're a Tiger fan, just you're and you live in Muskegon, you're, you're closer to Chicago anyway, closer to Cubs. Could adopt be, the Cubs. Cubs Might are well a National League Cubs. team. And doesn't I'm, matter. I don't you like adopt, the National League. You, you got to adopt. If you're a baseball <clears throat> fan, you got to have, I do this in football. Yeah, you My can. My team starts to struggle. Nope. I I glom on I I I, I try and look who's who's my you know who's my who's my 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 sports mistress who am I gonna right. flirt with who am I gonna engage well, in but, and not, nothing nothing long term just for the season okay. you gotta look for that and if you're a Tiger fan just adopt the Cubs and and see the, see where that takes you anyway okay. that's sports. or don't all right anyway uh, College Towns again for a thousand this one's a gimme I do I am. This I one's a freebie. I, I shouldn't even have to ask the question. You just want a thousand dollars? No, I don't. You sure? I want to earn it. I'll just give Dude, it to I'm you. Big on, I'm big on earning things. Don't give. You don't give. You I, earn. This is this you is a freebie. Give. This is that easy. A gift? See, I don't. Just take the no. money and run. No. What's that? Shoot it to me. Sure. And this is another one of these things where you're 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 playing it up like this no. is real easy. It this ends is up being the question itself ridiculous. is a giveaway. Go ahead. All right. I, I should just give you a thousand. Let's just give you a thousand. I'll skip the question. No. Come on. Let's skip the question. Let's I'll give you a thousand. On. Come you're, on. You're, okay, wait, come on. You're just rambling now. All let's right. do this thing. Wait a second. Were, did you wear that same shirt yesterday? No. You didn't wear your Faith No More t shirt yesterday? No, I wore the. Um, didn't I have the circus t shirt on yesterday? Oh, you know what? I, I, I thought maybe that was Monday. No. I thought you had the circus t-shirt. I, I confused it with Circus World. The, okay, I, maybe I'm confusing the Faith No More t-shirt with the Dio shirt. Yeah, and okay. be careful with that because, I mean, these are both epic bands, Dio and Faith No More. Oh, yeah, but, they're, yeah, epic. I mean, we got to be careful. You're, you're you're talking Ronnie James Dio here, pal. Ronnie James Dio. Yeah, Ronnie James Dio? <laughs> no, I'm not playing that. I'm going to play the Wallflowers. Deal with it, bitch. All right. It's not just the country music capital of the world. It's also home to Vanderbilt University. I did not know Vanderbilt University was in Nashville. Wow. Look at you. Now, yesterday you were bragging all out that you knew everything about college towns. I do. I know a lot about I usually know where most college, you, you give me um, like. Well, usually it doesn't count. Uni, University of West Virginia, Morgantown. Boom. Oh, really? I would just say it's in West Virginia. You wouldn't know. Well, I, I wouldn't be wrong. Florida State, Tallahassee. I'd say that's in Florida. There you go. You just wouldn't know. Well, that's fine. University of Texas. Probably in Texas. Give me. Where? Amarillo. Let's get this. Austin, Amarillo. There are no 
Amarillo. Dude. Jesus. <laughs> Texas Tech, College Station. Okay. Go buy some Oreos right. and enjoy your, what was it, Wednesday? All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. See ya! Happy Wednesday, Muskegon. Dry weather will continue over the next few days, so let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trendy Health. Starting out with your satellite imagery on Tuesday afternoon, you can see much of West Michigan actually cleared out throughout the day as all the clouds moved out to the east, but we do have some showers out in Wisconsin that will try to move into West Michigan, so it's not impossible. Early Wednesday morning, there could be a few showers across the region, but those will also clear out, leaving us with partly cloudy skies throughout the day on Wednesday. Now, your weather headlines show we will stay dry through Saturday besides the small chance of rain early Wednesday morning before sunrise. That's pretty much our only chance. And we'll likely stay in the 60s for today as cooler air moves in behind those showers and the humidity will at least be gone for now throughout the next several days. High temperatures today will likely be in the mid-60s, maybe upper 60s away from the lakeshore, but staying cooler than average by about several degrees or so. So for your Wednesday, expect a high of 66 with partly cloudy skies. Like I said, it's not impossible. Early in the morning, some showers may be moving through West Michigan, but nothing too crazy. And then we'll clear out completely overnight with a chilly low of 46. So definitely close the windows because it will be pretty cold, actually. But thankfully, we'll hold on to plenty of sunshine for the rest of the work week with highs warming into the 70s by Friday and Saturday. Clouds will move back into the region, though, this weekend with a small chance of rain now on Sunday but it doesn't look like anything too impressive, which will cool us back down to the 60s early next week. But as of now, Monday and Tuesday of next week look dry. And that's your Wednesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon channel. And I'm Cole Woods Weather and enjoy your day today.